Hi friends, you're here with me, Baby Firefly, the Taxidermy Witch, and uh, we're going to talk about some magical herbalism. Today we're going to talk about cucumbers, and I have some to show you that uh, my mother has grown beautifully in her garden. Uh, we come from German heritage on both sides, my uh, father's side and my mother's side, <clears throat> and it's interesting because both of them have a different recipe from their families for cucumber salad, which we've always enjoyed. My mother's recipe does not have sour cream, but cucumbers, vinegar, onions, etc. And my father's does have sour cream, what his mother and, uh, used to make. So, interesting. Good both ways, but yeah, uh, a fun German food. So, mm, I just want to show you some of these cucumbers. They grow in all kinds of fun little shapes when they're, you know, in your organic garden. However, you know, you do get them to grow in the normal shape as well. But I, I tend to really like jive toward these ones. Mm. And you can put them in the dehydrator, it takes like four or five days, and you can dehydrate them whole. And that's one of the things that I have in my Etsy herbal orders sometimes, uh, in the intuitive herbs. So uh, down below is my Etsy information in the description. And I have, oh gosh, over 300 different herbs at this time that I'm selling. So we sell in uh, 25, 50, 75, 100, 150, and 200 herbs. So if you're interested, Jack Shy Lady. But let's get on to the cucumber talk. So we're going to actually read from some books. Mm. Before I forget, before we get into the magical herbalism bit of it, <clears throat> we're going to read from Scott Cunningham. Uh, I wanted to say something that I found out today, uh, which is a huge bummer. Mm. So if you have an O blood type, uh, whether it's positive or negative, if you have an O blood type, uh, cucumbers are actually um, in the harmful foods, the foods to avoid for your system. So I was kind of bummed out by that today, so I'm going to be drying the cucumbers that I was going to eat. I'm going to really try hard to follow this and see if it doesn't help with some of my um, mental issues, mental issues, spiritual issues, depression issues, um, and, and health issues and just like how my stomach feels. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in this, thank you again, JR, for giving this to me. Um, I'm getting, I've highlighted everything in this book. There's charts. Uh, check this book out, you guys. It's really, really, really good. Um, so they're for all the different blood types, right? A, B, A, B, and O. Uh, so now let's talk about cucumbers. Beautiful, beautiful, cucumbers. So first we'll read from Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs and on page 95, uh, cucumber. The folk names for cucumber are, we'll hold one up, cow cucumber, agurk, haswi, kahire, leekahi, Gurkha. Gurkha. I think I've heard Gurkha, actually. It sounds European. Uh, gender, actually. we It looks phallic, right? So you might think phallic, but the gender is feminine. The planet is the moon. And when you cut one of these open, or you split it in half, hopefully I didn't get my camera, you really can see that it is a moon food when you look at it. Um, you know, it's white in color, it's round. Uh, you know, this way, it doesn't exactly look like a moon food, but this way it does. really lovely. The taste that you get from these, and I'm not actually going to swallow it, I just wanted to taste it, um, is really good. But sometimes the cucumber can upset stomachs. So yeah, interesting stuff. Moving along, so the planet is the moon, the element is water. And that makes sense because inside the cucumber it's so wet. See all of that liquid that comes out? Cucumber juice is really good. But guess what? If your blood type is O and cucumbers are something you want to avoid, use them for your beauty regimens. Cucumber juice is amazing for the skin, the face. Uh, if you have any problems with like bags under your eyes, uh, lots of things. And that's been used and a lot of people know about that. Yeah. <clears throat> Powers are chastity. Okay. Healing and fertility. And fertility makes sense because it's just packed full of seeds, right? 
seeds are good for abundance and fertility no matter what kind of herb or fruit or vegetable or whatever that they come from seeds in general okay and just like life and growth and new beginnings yeah uh so magical uses the fruit of the cucumber remember it's a fruit not a vegetable guys cucumber fruit just like tomato fruit uh the fruit of the cucumber when eaten hinders lust so if you're having like a problem or something maybe eat some cucumbers to <laughs> hinder the lust yeah um <clears throat> the peel bound so if you were to peel this with like a vegetable peeler and then you were to bind it onto your forehead so peel it and then lay down and then lay the peels on your forehead and maybe just it says bind so maybe put a wrap around it with intention um when bound to the forehead the peel can relieve headache pain while the seeds are eaten to promote fertility again like we said seeds fertility abundance growth okay so that's what we have out of scott cunningham's encyclopedia of magical herbs now we're going to move on to cunningham's encyclopedia of wicca in the kitchen so if you guys don't know and if you've been part of this channel for a while you do know this is when we dry them and use them in magical workings this is when we eat them this is the magical uses of ingesting it through the body this is the magical uses of it in a working and it never going into your body so if we're talking about food teas cookies um anything you're going to actually put into your body maybe you would even apply this to like ointments and oils because when you uh, add those to the skin it goes into the bloodstream but here we're just talking about a working in front of you okay so on page 84 in wicca in the kitchen uh the planet is the moon the element is water the energies when eaten are peace and healing now lore i like that this book has lore i love lore fresh cucumbers were once placed under swooning women's noses remember swooning it says i don't know what swooning is so i'm gonna have to look that up one of you put it in the comments what's swooning let me know um the odor was supposed to rouse them from their faint so lore fresh cucumbers were once placed under a swooning woman's nose so i guess a swooning is if you were about to faint like like this swooning <laughs> the odor which it does smell interesting like a fresh cucumber the skin it does smell interesting the inside smells much more potent but the skin itself smells really good i love i love the smell and taste of skins from vegetables from your actual garden not from the store because obviously that came from a garden but from your garden man it just fucking tastes so much different um so the odor was supposed to rouse them from their faint maybe it's after somebody faints you put this under their nose to wake them up yeah uh, in Africa, the Nur sometimes cre uh, consecrate a small wild cucumber and sacrifice it in place of a treasured ox during important ceremonies. So it's a substitute for an ox sacrifice. Interesting. Magical uses. Add cucumbers to peace-inducing diets. And I did tell you that you calm down when you smell this, when you eat this. It's calming. Smell smell that really calming oh it, it's just so good i'm sad i can't eat it anymore it's all right it's all right i've had enough in my life um in africa we talked about that magical uses add them to uh cucumbers to peace inducing diets peel and munch on one of these raw whole fruits for quick relief from stress or eat cucumbers while recovering from illness to speed the healing process. Visualize as you eat. So let's say I'm at the last day of my cold and I have to work tomorrow and I've taken four days off or whatever. And I know that tomorrow I've got to really like recoup and get up and out of bed and, and heal. Okay, I got to go to work tomorrow. Fresh cucumber. Eat it. As is, just like it's a fucking apple. That's how I eat tomatoes, like they're an apple. And, uh... And then the next day, you know, and, and as you're eating this, you're visualizing you working, have a good, having a good day, uh, being productive, more productive than you were before you got sick. 
put all your visualization while you're eating. This is so important, you guys. The visualization, the intent. Have a really beautiful day. Thanks for joining me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch. <laughs> Baby Firefly the Taxidermy Witch while we talked about cucumbers in witchcraft and herbalism. Next video, we are going to be talking about a stove potpourri. So come back for that, y'all. We'll be using moon water. See you later, skater.